there's probably gonna be a point where you're customizing Reaper and you're adding all these toolbars and just getting so crazy and overwhelming with the amount of actions that you're adding. Maybe you're starting to run out of space or maybe you feel that it's just too much because I often feel this way. Here's a solution I came up with that I very much like to just show and hide whatever you want on the screen and make yourself some space just like that. And I like this a lot because usually I have the most important things in here and then maybe I want some more extra actions in here. And what if I want even more actions? I had this other one that just expands right there and I can fill this with more and more actions. And it's just, oh, also the master track that is also handy to have. So the way I'm doing this is actually pretty simple. All I'm doing is just running these actions with show and high toolbars. And this will be, for example, the top one will be this one. Show high toolbar at top of a main window. When you run this, yeah, you will see your top tool, uh, toolbar in here. Uh, you have to make sure that the position of the toolbar is at top of the main window. That's how you're gonna be able to run this action and hide it. And that's the action that I have mapped on this toolbar. So if you custom my toolbar in here, you will see that my first action is show high at the top of my main window. And then I added a similar action and this one is called open close toolbar 3 and it's pretty much just gonna open toolbar 3 as you can see this is toolbar 3 and the way you see your toolbars is by pressing F you'll get this window and you can switch your toolbars in here and you can even rename them and all that stuff so this is, a, this is an action that pretty much shows me the toolbar 3 and I have it saved so it's right underneath the the toolbar, uh, the main toolbar. Um, the way I did that is basically I grab this tab right here um, and I just drag it up like that and then just close this like that and now I'm able to open and close it like this. And now for the master track I'm running this action called toggle master track in dark window. Um, pretty much this is gonna open um, the master track Right now it's opening right here, so that's a good way I can show you how to drag it up there. So it's just the same thing as the toolbar 3. You will drag this little tab to the right side or wherever you want the master track. I like to have it right here. So now when I press this button, it's going to show me the master track in here. Now it's really important that you save this into a screen set. So you go to view and go to screen sets layout and just save this as, as one of your screen sets. I have this one that is my default and I save it right here. Um, yeah, just save it when you're happy with the way it works and then just use that load key to recall your... And that's it. Feel free to get creative with this. You have all these toolbars that you can fill with actions of whatever grouping you might need and you can open and close them at any position on the screen. That's it. Bye!